Hey everyone, welcome to Team Pandora. Let's add some games to our Pandora Saga or compatible system. If the games menu looks like this, then it's likely you'll have some success. If you have a games list with a curve, nope, look elsewhere. First, we'll download Pandora Tool. Click here and then get the latest release. You'll need to scroll down to find the zip file and then click. We'll open it with WinRAR. Now we need to extract this archive. Press on the extract to at the top and then type in C colon backslash Pandori tool. You can also use a different location. That's up to you. Push OK. And then you can close this window. The free version allows you to install up to 20 games per system. Need more? Buy a coffee for the devs. You'll get an email with the unlocked ultimate version of Pandori. As an alternative, you could join the Patreon. Here we can get the ultimate version and also exclusive Pandori FR builds. Let's get to it. I'm going to open up Explorer and then navigate to the Pandori tool folder. Within this folder here is where all the Pandori magic happens. ROMS has multiple subfolders ready to add your games to. If needed, there is information regarding Pandori in the documentation folder. Let's check out supported ROMS. Here is a list of systems supported by Pandori, then the folder name, required file type, and ROM set. Let's install some 32x games. According to the list, we need a .32x file type. Both of the games I have are zip files. As they are, these are not supported. If we open it with WinRAR, then we can see the 32x file. We'll click and drag these over to the 32x ROMs folder. Moving on, we'll go to Game Boy. Opening the zip, we can find the GB file. And like earlier, we'll just drag and drop the GB file to the GB folder. And now some Super Nintendo games. Zip is not supported again. This is an SMC file. Let's check which is supported. And yes, we're good, SMC. For the third file, I don't actually want Star Fox. I want to install a Star Fox hack, which has two player mode. SFC is supported, so I can just drag this over. Now the file name, I don't think our scraper is gonna find that. So I'm gonna click once, click twice to rename, right click and copy. And we'll select this file, click again, right click, paste. If Scraper has any problems finding your game, try renaming. Find add roms.bat, right click, then edit. The top line here needs to have the folder name of Pandori. So we're going to find it in Explorer, click the address bar, right click, then go to copy. Going back to the add roms.bat, we're going to select everything after CD. Right click, then paste. With our USB stick inserted, we will find the letter of this drive. Then change this here to the same letter. Go to File and Save. Go to the Screen Scraper website, then create a free account. Register is at the top right. Now go to addroms.bat, right click, run as administrator. If you get this, press yes. Type in your username and password from Screen Scraper and then your USB stick will be prepared. You can also run Pandori via command prompt, much like in earlier builds. The big difference is that now the scraper is inbuilt within Pandori. Once completed, we could check the files that Pandori has prepared for us. 
These are the install files for the games which will be added to the Pandora's games list. If you wish to use a different video, or the video snapshot simply doesn't work on your Pandora, try switching the file here. Now let's safely eject our USB drive, then turn on the Pandora to get to the games list. Providing you have enough space, insert your USB stick. When finished, we can check which games have installed by checking the bottom of the list. Let's try one of these out. Here's the Star Fox Exploration Showcase. Rip, rip it. Rip, rip it. We can now delete the games from the ROMs folder. If you want to install any more, simply add them here and run the add ROMs batch file. We can also fix games with problems, like having no high gear in OutRun. To find out what fixes we have, go into the Controls folder and then MAME139. This will give us a list of games that have fixes ready for them. We need to find the game with the similar file name from the non-merged MAME 2010 or MAME 0.139 ROM set. When we have them ready, we can add them to the ROMs MAME 139 folder. Using the add ROMs batch file, we will then add them to the USB stick. Trying to add a game with the same file name will give us an error. So we need to first search for the game, say OutRun, and then remember the game number. Push the settings button at the back of the Pandora, enter game settings, then go to delete game. Now we're going to find OutRun and then delete it from the system. Here it is. Delete game, yep we know. Once done, we can insert the microSD. The three failures we have are because we have the same file names already on the system. We can check the games at the bottom for which didn't install, and then repeat what we did earlier. So we're gonna go to search, and then we can find the games, and then remove them. Reinserting the USB stick, we'll install them three. And now we can enjoy this game! If you want to enjoy your Pandora box even more, check out the video link below. 4.3 aspect ratio, fixes, optimizations, and even RetroArch. I've been Emu Chicken for Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip, flip, flippin' egg. Catch you later, guys. Ta-ra.